When you name a squad, it's always about looking the age profile, giving opportunities to players who are playing in form, and also welcoming back players with experience who've been out injured. The point of difference at the moment, maybe in, in New Zealand rugby, is uh, you know the, the front five and uh, the skill set of the front five and the wide channels and the decision making. And you know, from a coach's perspective, to see the Ospreys, uh, you know, play and seeing Roy in those wide channels and Alan winning the wide channels, making good decisions, being accurate, and being that one extra pass that scores a try. Uh, you know, Roy's obviously shown that, and now obviously he's forged that partnership when he's played with Alan Wynn, when Bradley's been injured. Uh, so we're looking forward to that competitive nature between the second rows. There's a lot of experience in that uh, in the back three. Uh, players who are able to play on the left wing and full back, right wing and full back. It gives us uh, good combinations. It's good to have those choices and the comp competition with experience, which is key. I thought the first two tests against New Zealand, uh, when you look back, particularly in the summer uh, experience with Argentina and Australia and South Africa against New Zealand. I don't think we did too bad. We're the only side uh, in the last six six months that was leading half-time against New Zealand, drawing 10 all in Wellington. And the players can take great confidence for that. But as coaches, we want, want to go to the next level. Test match rugby is about being accurate. Uh, it doesn't probably anything to do with the game plan you actually play. It's how accurate you are with your game plan and your defensive line speed and making your tackles is being accurate and uh, that's the challenge as coaches when the players come in that uh, is make sure we set standards and within those standards we play a game with intensity, uh, with execution and having the capacity to go 80 minutes which New Zealand at this moment in time are uh, uh, you know, a little further ahead than us uh, and you know that's a challenge for all of us as players and coaches.